This is Eric Stark with the Smart RVer Podcast, and today is Free Tip Friday. This is the video series we're doing every other Friday, showing a, a product, we're spotlighting a product or two, and today we're gonna to be showing two different products, but they're the same type of product. One is the Thin Shade by Lippert Components. We'll go show you a little bit more in a second. Get rid of that. And the other is Thin Shade by AP Products. And you might also see Slim Shade here, depending on the box and where you get it. Because that used to be the name, now it's Thin Shade. Get rid of that. All right. So now, this is the AP Products one. Or, I mean, excuse me, the Lippert Components. We're going to start with the Lippert Components one. So it comes with a tinted glass. So that gives you some extra privacy, keeps the sun out, keeps the RV a little bit cooler. And then we'll get into the frame here. So the frame is unique. The outer portion already has a foam sealant on here, so you don't need to worry about that. So when you put the frame in, it's gonna seal up fine. Then the inside portion of the frame, it has the shade on it. As you can see here, so it goes up and down, up and down. Now it's a little harder for me to pull right here because we're not in the door. A little awkward and the shade here pops out. That's because the glass isn't in. So when this is installed, it works different and you can adjust this tension as well. Okay, so that's pretty straightforward and it installs pretty easy. So we have these clips right here. I'm gonna keep my hand on behind it so it doesn't fall out. So you got top and bottom. See how that just popped out there? Now the top just fell right out. So again, that's the clips right here. They just go in and out, in and out. Pretty simple. And here's the shade outside. And so this is the outer frame. The shade just, or the, excuse me, the inside frame. The shade just came out. And so the backside on these is pretty unique. They do have guides here where a peg will go in from the other frame and these just snap together. These aren't screws. This is where it just snaps together. So this side of the frame would actually go this part into here. You can see where it'll made up like so. and it just snaps together. I'm not gonna snap this together because they're kind of a challenge to get apart. So you have the two frames, the piece of glass will go in this one because it has the sealant on it, mounts on the outside, this goes on the inside with the shade itself. And it does come with these little tools. And these are used to remove the shade down the road. If you ever have to take it out or if you, uh, you know, after you get it, you put it together, testing it out. They just slide right in there and they spread that out. So then the other end just pops right out. They work pretty good. Down the road, this shade might be, or these frames might be a little bit of a chore to get apart if they've been in the window for a long time because they're, the plastic might crack, break. So you might end up having to replace it if it comes down to that. And also after it's installed, and this would be on any window frame. And by the way, this frame fits your standard RV entrance door window. If the frame looks similar to this, it's 16 by 25 approximately, then this frame should fit. Now Lippert says there's only works in Lippert doors, but I don't think that's the case. I think it'll work in most RV or trailer entrance doors. Most motorhomes don't have a window frame like this. This is pretty much trailer specific. But after you install it, you could put a, a, a bead of sealant across the top here and down the bottom here. And that'll help give it a little extra protection against water leaking in. You know, the water's gonna come down this way. So you don't have to worry about the sides. Like I said, it does have a sealant on here, but if you wanna do a little extra, it won't hurt. Now this is the Lippert component shade. So it comes with everything you need to install it, even instructions. The instructions aren't bad. You know, a lot of instructions these days are pretty poor, but they're not too bad. So now we're gonna take a look at the AP product shade. Now this one is done a little bit different. So when you get it, it's gonna have the glass already in the frame and it's just a sealant that holds it in there. So it's tinted glass, just like the other one. So that itself is pretty nice. It gives you extra privacy, keeps the sun out. 
Now this one also has the sealant around it as well. So it's the same principle as the lipper component. So they're pretty identical how they work. Now the lipper one has, oops. So the shade, let's go to the shade since we're here. <laughs> so it has the same type of shade system and it just simply goes up and down like the other one. And again, because the glass isn't in here, it doesn't want to stay in place properly. Now this one comes out a little bit different. It just pops right out. It just sits in there with some little tabs on the back side that hold it in. But once it's in the window or in the door, it's installed, it's going to fit just fine. So you don't have to worry about that. And these shades are identical to the lipper components or the lipper components identical to AP products. Ever how you want to look at that. So the, the frames are very similar other than the AP products one has screw holes. So it comes with a bag of screws. So this is going to install by screws on the inside of the RV, holding the frames together. Like so. So the lipper components one squeezes together and the AP products is held in with screws. So that works out pretty good. And I kind of like the screw myself. I think down the road that might be a better option, but I think quality wise they are both very similar. And again, on the AP products one, if you, after you install it, you can put that bead of a uh, sealant across the top here and in the glass here. That'll give it a little extra protection to keep the water out and keep it from leaking. And again, it comes with everything the lipper components one does, even instructions. So it's a pretty, either shade or, or excuse me, yeah, either shade, either system's going to work the same. It's just a preference of how you want to put it in. The lipper components will be easier to put in because it just snaps together. The AP products, a little bit harder because the screws, but the screws might be the option you like. And just remember when you take your old window and frames out, you know, you can set those aside for an emergency down the road, or you can throw them away either way, but clean all the old sealant off the doors. Make sure it's nice and clean. So when you put in the new frames, you have a nice tight waterproof seal. And that's the goal. You want to keep the water out so it doesn't ruin the door. Entry doors are expensive and hard to replace, so you want to protect it. All right, so that's everything about the thin shades, whether it's AP products or lipper components, and they both use the same name, thin shade. Figure that one out. Probably a lawsuit working around somewhere in the background on that one. So this is Eric Stark presenting the Fast Tip Friday with the Smart RVer podcast. Thank you for watching.